everyone, and welcome back to World of Warship Splits with Terry. Today, we'll be looking at the Ernst Gede. Now, the German destroyer tech tree in World of Warships is a bit of a mess, really. Especially if you actually know a little bit about the history of the German destroyers and when these things came into being. So, the Ernst Gede here is actually named, so she's not called Z something, where the Z uh, st usually stands for Zerstörer, which is German for destroyer. The ships that were built before the Second World War usually were um, were named after officers who died in the First World War. The Ernst Gede, from what I can tell, didn't exist. Now, Wargaming goes and says this was a Zerstörer 1934 des uh, design, which is Curious because the Anskeda doesn't look like a 1934 <laughs> destroyer. She looks more like a 1936 design. Maybe the the Narvik one when it comes to the guns. Uh, she actually predates, um, or well, the the she actually pre she she's she actually predates the T22 design, which is the Tier Five destroyer. <laughs> which was which is actually a torpedo boat and not a destroyer where because a destroyer is actually originally a torpedo boat destroyer these things were meant to sink torpedo boats this as far as i know is a torpedo boat which actually was built in the 1940s whereas the ansgeda uh, at least according to wargaming um was built in 1944 but she and and she's apparently an ansgeda class ship which completely does not match the the description, which says that she's a 1934 model. 1934 models being the first models for the actual Zerstörer that were built, uh, and uh, the first one, the Z1, is, we can find her in the game, uh, at Tier 7, the Leberecht Maas. That is the, that is the Z1. So, I don't know where they found this thing. Maybe I just, I, maybe I just haven't, uh, maybe I just haven't really found. Maybe there's some documentation that I haven't been able to dig up. Please do let me know. But um, to me, it looks like this is all a little bit messed up. Anyway, uh, so there, there's no actual history on this thing other than that I couldn't find any. But uh, let's put that aside and let's have a look at at what this thing looks like in, in the game. Now, German destroyers, very good guns, okay torpedoes, no smokes, and relatively sturdy. So let's see how, how true that holds. Well, 15,000 hit points. Um, so it looks decently sturdy, sturdier than the Japanese ones for sure. Th uh, 36 knots of speed and um, three seconds of turn time, which is also okay. I can very much work with that. The guns. Now, unlike the T22 before her, which had the 100, uh, which had the 105 millimeter guns, because she's actually a torpedo boat, this being an actual destroyer, gets the 150 millimeter guns. And again, this completely doesn't make sense for the 1934 model, but anyway, she gets four 150 millimeter main guns. These are very comparable to the guns you find, say, on the Königsberg or the Nürnberg. Or the secondaries you find on the Bismarck, for example. So uh, th these are four rapid-firing 5.5-second reload uh, main guns. Being German guns, their high explosive damage isn't great, but their armor-piercing damage is pretty good. So again, being 150 mils, they are excellent against destroyers. Hell, I'm even using them against cruisers and occasionally against battleships if I can actually uh, target either the superstructure or get some plunging fire, because they do a they do a fair amount of damage. The turret traverse with 14.4 is also not bad. In my setup, torpedo-wise, she is definitely an improvement from the T-22. Now, the T-22, again, being a torpedo bolt, was a little bit smaller and uh, and less uh, less well-equipped. This thing gets uh, two, two quad launches, 6.9 kilometer range, and um, while the torpedoes aren't the fastest under the sun, uh, not doing an 
enormous amount of damage. They still do a decent amount of damage in such that such that if you uh, use your guns a little bit, you can sink a lot of things with these. Uh, Anti-air is well. She's a destroyer. Is not great. Now, one of the downsides of these things is the surface detection. 6.2 kilometers is not huge. And um, a lot of things like, say, the Faragut or the, uh, the Hatsuharu are going to completely outspot you in this thing. So don't expect to be able to outspot. You have to be a little bit careful not to rush headlong into, uh, into the enemy team because you will be outspotted easily by other destroyers and their supporting cruisers not far behind can uh, make short work of you without you necessarily even seeing who's being spotting you. For elite, <coughs> for the elite bonus we get the destroyer modernization which gives us a bit more hit points um, uh, or we get the elite torpedo operator which improves the torpedoes. I've gone with the modernization because for me this is a gunboat destroyer. The torpedoes are of second thought. They are, I often don't even bother using them against other destroyers unless I have a secure shot because I can completely rely on my guns um, to, to deal with uh, other destroyers and uh, low health targets. So that brings us to the equipment. What do I've got in here? I've got the main battery mod 1 for traverse speed because again, for me this is a gunboat destroyer. The propulsion mod is very useful to get to get the well to get up, uh, to get in and out of speed because you if you are battling destroyers you're gonna have to do a lot of dodging and the last the last slot although I would have liked to have it in ca in the camo I prefer to have the steering gear mod for better dogfighting capabilities otherwise she's a tad too sluggish so the commander Mr Biermann Otto Biermann uh, he's been going he's been going through the destroyer line with me so far and um, nothing great in terms of surprises he's got the underwater protection the torpedo alert uh, battlefield support would have been okay to get an additional sonar but um, I'm, I like the uh, increased torpedo visibility and I'll make, I usually make up for it with the uh, recon skill in, in tier 6 instead she gets preheating no surprise here uh, victorious charge and I've got the daredevil and um, because, well, this is a brawling ship, as are German ships. <laughs> so let's, uh, let's put a different camo on. Well, I, I put this on because it looks better. But uh, actually a very good camo that you can get at the moment is the Arctic Frost because it gives 100% XP bonus for every game and it works on hit points, traverse speed and surface detection, which is a really good all-around combination of things you can use for a camo. All right, let's take her into battle. Okay, bottom tier, Nagato, Colorado, New Mexico, Duca, ugh, and three destroyers. None of the destroyers we can deal with, the battleships probably as well. The Duca, I'd rather not. <laughs> and we're playing base capture on Aurora, so... Uh, where are we going? We are not sneaky enough to sneak around the side. So we're probably... Uh, I'm going to hang around the middle and see what's going on. Switch over to the armor piercing and I'm going to switch these to thin spread because I do have a good range on the tops. So the the wider you spread, because they spread out, the further apart they, they come and the less, the fewer torpedoes you actually end up hitting with. Alright, let's see where they're going to show up. We've got one destroyer on the left flank. And we've got a cruiser. Okay, we've got a cruiser going side, so we're gonna have to scout for these people. Which probably means we're gonna have to go around the go around the center a bit and see what we can find. I'd be much rather in a sneakier ship, but but um, okay, that's one of the battleships. Where are the others, there's another one. Let's see if they're actually defending anywhere on their f on this island flank here. And now you can actually stealth torp in this thing. Oh, uh, yep, that's an eagle. Uh, hello. I'm not even gonna try and and um, torpedo you. How do you have torps away? Okay, your torps are everywhere, but here. 
Now for you, I make a dis exception and use widespread torps. If either you or that Fubuki are gonna run into it. Uh, Fubuki doesn't seem to be moving. Whose torps are these? Eigel or Fubuki? Uh, look at that soup coming in. No, Fubuki didn't want to move. That's a shame. Anyway, we'll start gunning away at these people. See, um, this is not your usual destroyer where you just fire your torpedoes and then you're trying to hide. This is a ship where you actually... Um, no, we don't want to get too close. Where you actually use your guns a fair amount. So like, for example, that Fubuki there, once he fires his torpedoes... Oh, there's the Aka as well. Hello, people. My drops of reload? Yes, they are. Uh, let's see if one of you, one of you people manages to run into them. Other than that, we're just turning around in circles. Okay, that's one hit on the Aka. Where are you firing your torps? Everywhere but where I am. Are you gonna turn? Well, you don't need to. I can just shoot you. There we go. Okay, dodge these. Engine boost in. And... Should dodge these torps. And the Yaka runs straight into mine. Okay, one down. <laughs> okay, who's next? Uh, Eagle, Eagle, whatever. You're still here. Um, I've got torps up for you, so... If you feel like you want to be torped, but I don't need torps. But I can if I have to. Okay, that's three destroyers down. I I did mention that this thing is a bit of a destroyer hunter, didn't I? <laughs> Look at that. They left. We left our cap wide open. They all started rushing the cap, and um, see what good that did them. <laughs> I absolutely love German destroyers. They are, they are, um, they are brawling ships par excellence. And if you get customers like that, you really can't complain. Now let's. Uh, they we're probably going to cap. <laughs> Look at that. How many ships do we have in the enemy cap circle? Four. <laughs> oh gosh. Uh, the, the the enemy. I, I actually pity the enemy team. Um, let's see if we can actually still do some damage before. Oh no, they sunk it already. <laughs> Before we're capping out, yeah. Well done. <laughs> uh, let's see if anything else, anything interesting still happens. Otherwise, I'll, I'll just skip ahead. Yeah. Uh, look, we've, we've done 21,000 damage with the guns and only 14 with the torpedoes. Okay, we didn't have any battleships to torp or anything. But um, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's what you can do in... In the end, Skater. She's an amazing ship, in my opinion. She is great fun. She is a brawler. She's aggressive. She has a terrible stealth. So um, be uh, to do expect to do expect to uh, to be outspotted. But other than that, um, I, I'm having a time of my life in this thing. I love this destroyer already. Now, the Leibrecht Mars coming after her. I think gets the 127 mil guns again because she is an actual 1943 type destroyer, not like the mock-up made-up one. So she gets the 128 mil guns. Um, but they get a 40 half second reload. We get one more, and they're still doing a decent amount of armor piercing. So yeah, I'm, I'm I'm looking forward to that. Anyway, German destroyers they are fun <laughs> if you like to play aggressively. That's it for today. Thanks everybody, and I'll see you next time. Bye.